Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to have excellent video. It's going to be ball bearing fight. It's the same concept as with the knives and axes. So two ball bearings against each other. One is going to explode and one is going to go to the second round. And first we have beginning rounds, then semifinals. And after the final, there is going to be only one ball bearing left. And that's the best ball bearing in the world. And here is the setup. I have really sturdy supports here, welded to the bottom plate. And the distance between these two is exactly the same for both the bearings. And they are so sturdy that they are not going to flex. So this is going to be a completely fair fight. And I think we are ready for the first round. But before that, more about today's sponsor, Raycon. Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point. So you can build a great habit without breaking the bank. I am not sure how I could get anything done without great earbuds like Raycon every day. At least for me, it's almost magic how they transform boring everyday tasks to opportunities to listen to your favorite podcasts, learn from audiobooks. And because the Raycon Everydays has so great form factor, you can easily put hearing protection over them. So you can use them even on extremely noisy areas like in the workshop while machining or with your like stupidly loud tractor when pushing snow. They have also really nice fit and they come with different sizes noise isolating tips. So no wonder that they have over 50,000 five star reviews. They are also water and sweat resistant. So they are great choice for working out. And I think it really matters what you listen while lifting. So are you ready to buy something small with a big impact? Click the link in description box or go to buyraycon.com slash hydraulic press to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Okay, first fight, SKF vs cheap Chinese bearing without any brand, it's just Chinese, all we know. And the SKF is clearly fan favorite here, it was much lighter on its feet. So let's see if it's also stronger one here today. Oh no! It's the SKF is gone! Chinese ball bearing just murdered it. The top surf surface exploded. Really surprising result. So Chinese goes to the next round and SKF is out with a knockout. We had a look on the slow speed from the first round and there was clearly bad strategy from the SKF. The balls were completely different position than with the Chinese. So the lost round was probably because of the tactics, but now they have the same starting position. So this is more fair fight this time. And on the lower place, there is go. How you spell that? Go. Go from Japan. And on the top place, again from China, but this time stainless steel. So two different materials, neighbor countries. Let's see how it goes. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think now the game was fair. The bearings didn't turn or anything. It was like outer ring against outer ring, and this time the weaker one was the stainless steel from China. Third round on the bottom place, fuck, like F-A-G, and on the top place, high quality brand from the Nordics, Piltema. They have probably not made it in Sweden by themselves, but that was sold under Piltema brand, so Piltema it is. And here we go. Okay, that was eventful. 
I'm not sure if the lower one also had some damage because it's clearly like bent, but the Bildema took a lot of damage this time. Yeah, I think our doctor is going to have look on the fighters and let's see how bad are the injuries. 10 on the lower spot, S N R, and on the top spot, Timken. And this is the last of the beginning rounds and after this it's semi-finals. That was a hard hit. SNR is completely gone. It's like ruined. Ruined. And it's a miracle if the team can didn't take any damage from fight like that. First semi round, and I realized that maybe this is pronounced Koyo. I'm not sure. I'm not like expert on these matters, but nevertheless, guy from Japan is on the bottom place, and then the top place. Timken. And both feel little bit uh, like damaged. They're not completely round anymore. So interesting to see how the second round goes for them. Oi. Oi, sparks. That was a tough fight. I'm not sure is there somehow the lower place little bit better place to be. They should be exactly the same, the dimensions match, or then the uh, bottom pairings just have worse luck this time. But this was huge knockout from Timken. Then second semi-final, Timken vs Chinese one. And this is interesting match. Timken has the damage from the first round, and the Chinese got easy victory because the, its opponent was on bad position. So first really tough match for the Chinese and how is the injured Timken going to handle it? Mm. Two big questions, here is the answer. <laughs> Oi. Yeah, Timken got snapped from its old injury. It clearly affected the results here. So big surprise, but the Chinese ball pairing is in the final. So here we are. Again, one stupid sport is going to be on its final ball pairing fight. Chinese ball pairing vs. Timken. I crossed the tool also slightly. Um, is this a draw? Or which one won? I think the Chinese got damaged first, but the team Timken got like way bigger explosion. I think we have first time ever on this board a draw. Hmm. Type down in the comments which one won in your mind. I think this is a draw in my books. Yeah, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.